Okay, I'm back. Hopefully you managed to connect to the Click to Mail site without any problems. As you can see from the splash page of the website, you can create your mailing in four easy steps. Let's walk through them now. I've already logged in with my existing account, so I'm just going to switch screens. Once inside, you'll see that there are several types of mailings that you can create postcards, flyers, letters, booklets, and certified mail. I'll be showing you how to work with the booklet mailing to create your newsletter. Feel free to experiment with any of the other types of mailings. You can select their templates and I'll show you just by clicking on the booklet. You can select their templates or you can upload one of your own documents. I'll upload my own design by clicking the Upload a New Document button. The product we prefer to work with is the booklet in a flat envelope, address on the back, fixed 56 pages maximum. I'll browse to upload my document. Just wait a moment while I get to the right folder here. Okay, and then I'll hit upload. Oh, sorry, I'll give it a name. Do what you love, February 2008. And then I'll click upload and edit. While the file is processing, I'll mention that you should think of creating your document in sets of four pages. If you think about the construction of a booklet, it's a set of large 17 inch by 11 inch pages, folded in half and stapled in the middle. So each sheet of 17 inch by 11 inch paper yields four 8.5 by 11 inch pages for your finished document. When designing your newsletter, you need to think in multiples of four. Your newsletter could be 8 pages, or 12 pages, or 16 pages, or, you know, however many you want, but it has to be a multiple of 4. It needs to be built in multiples of 4 to ensure that you don't end up with a series of blank pages at the end of your document, which could cause your readers to think that they've missed out on some valuable content at the end of the newsletter. So thinking in multiples of four, whether you, you use the click to mail service or a regular printer is a good practice for a booklet. Another thing I want to mention when using the click to mail service is that you'll note that the document format I selected mentioned that the address would be on the back of the booklet. So you'll have to write a newsletter that has 15 pages of written content rather than 16 you'll leave the 16th page for the address block. And I can see that the document is still processing here. So let's give it some more time. Um, we've been using this service for, well, we've, we've been using it probably for a, a few months. Um, we've been using it mainly for the inner circle mailings. And this month, the March newsletter for the success group this will be the first time that we're using the click to mail service. So I'd be interested to hear your feedback with the newsletter, um, the March newsletter as compared to the February newsletter or some of the previous issues in terms of the layout, the quality, the speed of delivery, which is probably going to improve significantly now that we're using the USPS service. Now I'm going to pause the video and give this a little bit more time to process and I'll be back as soon as it's done. Now that the document has loaded you can edit it if required. You just click the edit button. You can scroll through the different pages by clicking the blue arrow at the bottom of your screen and you can look to see if everything's okay. 
We've already edited this document, so I'll continue with, to the next step, which is preview.